I want to start a baby box. I got chicken salad chick for the first time and I'm so excited. It looks so good. These are stunning and I cannot believe I found these. They have, oh my god, these have been so hard to find. The way fruit like has me in a chokehold like is a natural. You're like, all I see is his panza and his chest. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog. Today is Monday. Fiesta is officially over. The last day was yesterday. And I'm a little bit sad that it's officially over. We didn't do anything um, for the last day yesterday because it was Matthew's last day off or like his only day off if you think about it. Because with school and work, he only really has like one day off, which is like insane. So we wanted to just spend the day together and just be lazy. So I didn't do anything yesterday. Just spent time with Matthew. And yeah, but it's officially over. I feel like I can finally like breathe and relax. Even though I didn't do a whole lot of like fiesta activities and events, what I still did was very time consuming and very like draining, but so much fun. Like the outfits, getting ready, um, going to the events, being around a lot of people, eating yummy food. You guys, fiesta food is so good. So good. I posted a what I ate at fiesta um, TikTok last night. So that was pretty fun. So if you guys aren't following me on TikTok, Go give me a follow on TikTok because I post like a lot of different videos. Like I pack my husband's lunch videos and like this is my OOTDs and just like shopping hauls. Like hauls and like shop with me are like my favorite videos to post and to edit. Like I just love doing them so much. But yes, since the fiesta is officially over, I have need to do a huge like grocery restock. Like we have like no groceries. Well, we have some, but we just don't have like complete meals. So I'm going to go to HEB, probably going to do a shop with me and add it to this video but I need coffee. Like I woke up with a headache and I hate waking up with a headache. I'm 99% sure it's allergies. It feels like an allergy headache. So I took an allergy pill this morning, praying it kicks in and works. This is also really random, but I recently came across this creator on TikTok. Her handle is Along Came Holly. This is her page right here. Um, she just popped up on my For You page literally last week because she was about to like have her baby. She has a toddler and then she just had a newborn. And I've been like obsessed with her videos. Well, she loves this like frozen coffee from Panera. And I've never had it and she makes it look so good. And there is a Panera close to me. Okay, well there's two that are like equally distant. But they're not super close. So I'm just like debating if I should go get it and try it. I feel like since I have a headache, like I want like my good coffee, you know? Like, so I don't know, like do I take the little bit of a longer drive, go get it, and what if I don't like it? Or do I just get what I know? So that's the struggle this morning. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I did end up going to Panera. I got the caramel cold brew, or caramel frozen cold brew. Let's give her a try. Mmm. Okay, it's pretty good. It's not like really sweet at all. Mine is like a little like not frozen anymore. But that's good. I will definitely order this again. That is delicious. Mmm, that is so good. I can see the hype now. I definitely can. I also got myself a bagel because I am so hungry. So I can't tell if my headache is because I'm hungry or because of it like a allergy headache but I got my favorite bagel ever it's the cinnamon one oh, that cinnamon mm, yeah I'm gonna eat this and then I also am at home goods so I'm gonna pop into home goods and see what I can find Clovers, there are some really good dupes. 
they even have like the bags they even have like on another aisle which i just saw where you can like iron them on and they have like oh my god i didn't even see this one so they have a mom one and then a baby one that's so cute I got chicken salad chick for the first time and I'm so excited. It looks so good. I feel like I should have got like the trio. I only got like the two. But I feel like this is not going to fill me up. But we'll see. I have the jalapeno holly chicken salad. You can't really tell but it has like jalapenos, the chicken, and like all the stuff inside. I also got the pasta salad. There's some crackers and a cookie. Okay, I am a chicken salad chick believer. That was so good. And I'm somebody who does not like celery and chicken salads because I just do not like celery in general. But it was so like finely diced that I couldn't even taste it. It was so good and it definitely did fill me up. I am totally fine having that again. I think next time I just like want a pickle or something. Like I need something to like cut the like the taste a little bit. So I'll definitely order a pickle but that was so good and the pasta salad was, it was all just delicious. I will say that the chicken salad was a little bit salty. But, oh my god, I have never had a better chicken salad before. So if you have one near you and you like chicken salad, I definitely recommend go try it out. But now we are finally going to H-E-B and it's 125. Matthew should be home any minute and I still have to do work at home. And he wants to go to the pool later, so it's going to be a good day though. Many hours later. I totally forgot I was vlogging, but my husband is here. We went to H-E-B and I did not film any of it. So maybe I'll do a little haul later. We'll see. Yeah, I think we were just too hungry. We I think at, well, he was too hungry. I was definitely hungry. Like, I'm starving right now. Like, we literally just bought, like, a buttload of groceries. And yeah. I'm here at Las Palapas grabbing two tacos. Because yes. I can't wait. Because somebody, <gasps> somebody ate without me. Okay, so I ate, but I didn't know. Like, when I was eating my chicken salad chick, I didn't know he was already home. Because he didn't tell me you were, he was home. I told her I was leaving at 12. And uh, I got home around, like, 1, 120. Yeah, but I didn't know. You see? So that's your fault. But we are going to stop at Walmart right now because I don't know if you have seen, but AMC has their own like popcorn in a bag and you microwave it and it's supposed to taste like movie theater popcorn. So I'm so excited. We're going to go get it. Um, and there's a Walmart close by to us, but I can't wait to try it. He doesn't really care for popcorn. I am a popcorn lover, so I'm very excited. But he's just like not the vibe right now you guys so don't worry about him he's grumpy right now he is grumpy I've been up since like three o'clock this morning drove to austin for this class i'm taking mm -hmm. we're out out all day mm -hmm. and then driving home i just want to home, get home and rest but no my wife was out and about having a good time just living life and uh she was like oh we need to go to hb and i was like okay well we'll just we'll, i just mm -hmm. thought like okay that's it we're gonna go to hb maybe spend an hour or so and come home no of course not and now she's like oh walmart oh this oh that <laughs> I am back home, but I wanted to film a little haul of everything that I got today because I got some really good finds. I think I want to start with home goods first. So, you guys, I just about like died when I saw these. If you watch like the viral like shop with me, is like TJ Maxx and Home Goods, then you most likely saw this beautiful like little heart shaped champagne glass it's like rainbow iridescent it is stunning i've been trying to find these since like december and january for valentine's day i got two you guys there was a bunch there was maybe like i don't know like seven or eight of them but i just needed two and i'm gonna go put these in my storage um in my valentine's day bin but these are Stunning. and I cannot believe I found these they are just so so pretty and I don't even drink but I don't care I can put orange juice in here I can put my bubbly I can put whatever I want in here because it's in my house but aren't these the cutest glasses ever I love them the next thing that I got from home goods is this beautiful strawberry bowl this is stunning and the way fruit like has me in a chokehold like is a natural but i love this i'm thinking of like putting it like on my counter or something or maybe like i'm a little coffee bar and putting i don't know what would you put in here <laughs> let me know what you'd put in here because i'm like i just had to have it it was 5.99 and i just love fruit and like strawberry things so what would you put in this if you have this i was thinking candy 
but I just bought a candy jar as you guys will see I'm gonna show you guys right now but it is just so cute and I love strawberries and I feel like it's perfect for summer this find you guys was like the find of like a century well, actually those glasses were but I found a Yeti Collister Rambler Collister I think it's it can insulator you guys I found a stinking yeti at home goods this was $14.99 and it's so cool like you just unscrew it and you can put like your soda in here but yeah $14.99 and I saw these online because I wanted to check how much they were on the yeti's website they were like $25 or $30 so that is a steal and I grabbed myself one I was gonna get one for Matthew but they only had this like mint like not mint like a seafoam like color so he was like now nah, pass but super cute and the last thing i got from home goods because we were gonna go to the pool today but it's a little bit later so i don't think we're gonna go anymore but i got this south beach pool chair like a chase so that you can kind of like lay back on it and there's even like a little two spots to put drinks in here so i thought this would be super cute when i go to the pool it's pink and sparkly and it's super cute and this was $9.99 and the glasses i think they were $7.99 so that is all i got from home goods and now for Hobby Lobby. And along with the strawberry theme, I had to get this little strawberry oven mitt thing. This was $4.99, but all of the spring stuff was 40% off, so I grabbed that. And then I had to get the little strawberry salt and pepper shakers. Aren't these so cute? I just need to match my like little theme so well. And I got this for my best friend because she just graduated from nursing school and passed her forgot what it's called the state exam so she's officially a nurse so i got her this little like badge thing it, and it says best nurse ever i thought it was super cute and then you guys i got this candy jar this was 9.99 but again it's in the spring so this was 40 percent off and it is gonna be perfect for my candy last but not least from hobby lobby is this box and i'm gonna tell you guys why i wanted this box so it's a really pretty kind of like rainbows has colorful rainbows with uh, pastel colors and flowers i thought this was pretty like gender neutral because i want to start a baby box my husband and i have obviously been like talking about it but we're just like you know just kind of going with the flow but um yes <laughs> Uh, the rice is almost done, so do I, all I do is turn it off and just let it sit, or do I mix it? Is it done, like, to taste in, it? In, like, a minute or two. After That's 20 but minutes. But how do you, you have to see how it looks? Because it might go a little bit longer, it might go a little bit less. Okay, but when it's, like, when it's, I guess, good, do I just let it sit? Yeah, just, but taste it. And see if it's hard or if it's soft. Do I dig, like, deep in the top or in yeah, the Yeah, you can do it bottom? in the top, yeah. Or just, or the bottom? No, the top. Just take a little taste. <laughs> so yeah we just want to start a baby box to start collecting items for our future babies and we like i said we've already started but i think it would be a really good thing to start and it's a pretty like decent sized box and i got this idea from i follow drew on tiktok if you're somebody who's like thinking about it but you're not sure when or like what the timeline looks like and you want to like buy stuff they don't sell it anymore or it sells out buy it and put it in your baby box and you'll thank yourself later like when you're pregnant or about to give birth or whatever the case may be so that is it for my little haul um I say little, but it was a pretty decent size haul. We also went to HEB, and you guys, I don't know if it was a chicken salad chick. I'm just going to be 100% right now. I don't know if it was a chicken salad chick or if it was the Panera coffee, or it could have been the bagel because I put cream cheese on the bagel. Something made my tummy hurt, so I literally had to like run into the car and go to the restroom inside the HEB. So yeah, that happened. So I did not film a shop with me. I didn't get like the aesthetic, like, you know, entrance of the store or anything. I, girl, I ran into the restroom. I sure did, and I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, that is it for my little haul. Matthew was making dinner. We're having some Wagyu beef fajitas and some rice. It smells so good. So we're gonna go eat that, and I'll check in later. Dinner is served, and oh my god, it looks so good. Thanks to this feller over there. Hi. Delicious, babe. <laughs> Good morning guys. Today is the next day. It is Tuesday. I currently have my little greens like morning concoction that I drink. And then I have some coffee. Um, yeah. Today is Tuesday. Matthew actually stayed home from school today. What do you have to say for yourself, you school skipper? <laughs> 
playing the hooky. <laughs> Allergies are kicking yeah. my I just I need a break. I'm really I'm exhausted. Yeah, he's tired. Tell me if it doesn't taste good. Yeah, it's good. Does it need more cream or sugar? No, it's okay. No, I like it. <laughs> you don't like it. No, I do. No, I just I don't like it overly sweet. It's just good. It's really good. Okay. That's a better creamer. Yeah, so yesterday we went to H E B. We found the cinnamon dolce Starbucks creamer delicious i've only had it where it's like oat milk and almond milk like combined now they have just like the regular one so i got that let me try mine mm. Mm -hmm. for all you adults out there that rent make sure you double check oh my gosh double yes. check and look at all the like look like your yeah receipt or whatever like what is it called you're uh, like um like the breakdown yeah, of your rent yeah the breakdown of your rent because apparently for the past like what three or four months like four months we were we have been being like double charged for like i guess like some of the convenience fees like the trash and mm -hmm. the dog rental and things like that and it's not that much money but it's like you know twenty dollars here thirty dollars there and like you know and it all adds up and like We've been just so busy the last few months, like we didn't even yeah. uh, realize it until this month when we looked at the what we mm -hmm. owed, and we were like, "That's a little more than what we're used to." So yeah, it was a lot more than what we were used to, and I was like, "Like two hundred dollars more," and we were like, "What's going on here?" Yeah, so just keep an eye out. Yeah, so we were dealing with that yesterday, and then still today, and then ugh, it's a mess. Yeah, but it's fine. It'll get resolved today. It will. And yeah, we didn't really do a whole lot yesterday. I didn't even tell you that we went to the Walmart to find the popcorn and it's like nowhere to be found. She, she was sad. I was really upset because I have been talking about this popcorn for like four days. Mm -hmm. But you guys, Matthew made like the best fajitas yesterday. You can still taste it. They were so good. Like, oh my gosh, like, they, were, they were so good. So it like made up for it. And then I convinced him to move around the room. So how do, you, how do you do this? Like, well, you're just really tall. I can't. Like, I have to bend down. Like, way. Like, I'm like, hey guys. Like, <laughs> I'm just. They're gonna see me like this. Like, maybe, maybe take a good look at my face because the next time you guys see me, like, they're never gonna see me ever again. They're just gonna be like, all I see is his panza and his chest. And like, well, you're a lot taller than me. I just like bend down because I normally lean against on the counter can't do it you're just gonna see me like this i'm like hey guys <laughs> so i convinced matthew to remove our oh my god i cannot talk to you to rearrange the bedroom to rearrange the bedroom because the way our bed was it was like against the windows i kept waking up with a headache and i just think it's all like the dust and like literally the outside like an allergy headache so we moved it and i'll show you guys when we fix the room because i'm not gonna show y'all right now but i'm gonna get y'all's opinion to let me know what y'all think about it because well, I'll explain when I show y'all. Breakfast is served. We made some avocado toast with some ham and a little eggy. Enjoy, babe. <laughs> Many hours later. I'm not sure what came over me, but I took the longest nap. Well, how long? Like two hours? Uh, like you took one hour nap, and then I woke you up, and then you're still tired. Yeah. And I let you sleep for another two hours. Oh my gosh, I slept three hours? Yep. <gasps> oh, I had no idea. Well, I had like a really good nap. I'm assuming it was well. It was needed because these allergies are kind of kicking both of our butts like matthew isn't feeling like the best right babe well, just, uh, yesterday was worse today i'm feeling a lot yeah better. just these allergies oh and he's putting in a new um shower curtain, shower curtain liner thing for us because the one that needed to be changed out dingy. yeah so it's, it's a good reminder to change out your shower curtain liners like i don't know every six months or something yeah unless you're gross and you want to keep it on <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Anyways, I wanted to show y'all the bedroom to get y'all's opinion. So this is like when you like walk in. And I don't know if I had ever shown it before. But the bed was actually right here. So it was like against the windows. And this dresser that we got from Ikea actually went here. But I just like was complaining with like waking up with headaches. And I don't know if this makes sense. But I would sleep on this side. Well, I mean either way it wouldn't matter because we're right by the windows. But I kept waking up with like, like an allergy headache. And if you live in Texas, you know the difference between like a regular headache and like an allergy headache. It just feels different. And I was like, well, maybe it's all the dust that collects. Well, my, no, Matthew said that. Like the dust that collects on the blinds and the curtains. But I was thinking it's like 
all this stuff outside because we're right by the window, you know? So I don't know if that makes sense, but we ended up moving the bed. I really like the way it, oh shit. <laughs> So, I, okay, I'm going to move back so that this is how it looks when you come in. And for some reason, I don't like walking, like, in the bedroom and seeing a bed. I don't know what it is. I, I like to see, like, walk in and you see, like, part of the bed or something. But the thing with this bedroom is, like, these three windows here are amazing. I love having, a, like, a master bedroom with, like, lots of light. But this window is completely unnecessary because it just throws off, like, it's just so uneven. So we put the bed here, and it looks fine, but it's obviously, like, not centered. Sorry if you can hear all his crunching over there. It's obviously, like, not centered to the wall at all. And now our pictures are uneven, and I love these pictures from Hobby Lobby. I think they, like, match the vibe of the room so well. So I don't know what to do. I was thinking of just leaving the bed here, because obviously, like, there's just, like, empty space. But now Ranger's bed can fit, like, nicely in here. So, I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Obviously, I think we're gonna have to move these pictures. I was telling Matthew, like, let's just slide, like, the better together one over. And then put the ones with, like, the pompous and, like, the little wheat or whatever those are. Like, one here and then one here. Or, like, one around each of the, like, of the TV. So, I don't know. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I was also thinking to put the bed on this wall. Cause it, but Matthew was saying that I'm not going to like it. Because when I walk in, it's going to be, like, boom, the bed's on the side. But maybe I will like it. So, I don't know. The options are endless. Not gonna like it. I, how, how do you know? I've been this woman for over 10 years. <laughs> and I know how she is. She'll do something. And she'll have me move things around. <laughs> And then I know secretly she doesn't like it, but because she basically asked me to move it, she's like, oh no, I love it, it's great. And then like, maybe <laughs> like the max two weeks will go by if she's patient <laughs> enough. And after two weeks, like when the cameras are off and the lights are out and we're in the bed and she's like, and just out of nowhere, she'll just sporadically be like, I don't like where the bed's at. <laughs> so then guess what? I have to move everything again. But it was super easy to move it, wasn't it? Well, well yeah, because I had those, uh, those things. Those little, like, those, circle things, and he put them yeah, on, the and it just, like, it just have, moved. Yeah, if you have carpet, you know, you put your furniture, uh, what's it called? You put them, like, underneath your furniture, and they're just easy to slide, slide around. But, yeah, so let us know your thoughts, because I'm, I'm a little stuck on this. If this window wasn't here, it would have been, like, a no-brainer, perfectly centered. But this window is just throwing me off. I really don't see the point in that window. Yeah, it just doesn't really make sense. For dinner tonight, we're having some Luby's fried fish, Luby's broccoli cheese rice, some French-style green beans, and Luby's mac and cheese. We're also going to watch the Sister Wives, what is this, season 16, episode 12. We have one more season left and we're gonna be finished. We're gonna enjoy dinner. This looks amazing. And watch the cheese meh. Dinner with a side of cheese meh. <laughs> Hello you guys, today is actually Wednesday, it is the next day, but I wanted to properly go ahead and close out the vlog because I'm starting a new one right after this. After I think I filmed the last clip yesterday, we had dinner and then we just went to bed and just relaxed and went to bed like pretty early. These Texas allergies are like seriously like getting to me. I thought I had like them bad last month, but I can't tell which one is worse this month or like last month, so I don't know. But I have to go to run to Costco and then I'm going to get myself a frozen coffee from Panera and I think I want to go to Hobby Lobby again because there's a different one on the other side of town that i'm gonna go to or actually no i don't know we're gonna figure it out in the next vlog but thank you so much for watching this vlog i will see you in the next one bye